45 years of creating time synchronization solutions for the world. Um, a lot of things happened and uh, our founders, Werner and Günther Meinberg, never expected to see what is basically coming out of this. So uh, follow me uh, onto a journey throughout the time uh, and see how Meinberg started, what we achieved in the meantime and how things are looking like at the moment. Our story begins in 1979. Meinberg is founded by brothers Günther and Werner. Unlike the expansive facilities that Meinberg calls home today, our business started modestly, in a single room of the family's home, where quality products were built by hand. Combining Werner's and Günther's various talents, they initially focused on engineering, building and selling high-grade remote control units for model aircraft. Now, you might wonder how Meinberg transitioned from model aircraft to industrial synchronization. It's a path that makes more sense than you might first think. Originally, the clocks were just a way to fund their passion for radio-controlled aircraft. But the natural engineering talent and market demand for industrial synchronization soon set the company's future along a new path. 1980 saw the first major order for 50 DCF-77 clock cards. Working tirelessly in their small room, they hand-engineered each and every product. Meinberg soon moved into a dedicated apartment, but with its continuous growth, the company had already outgrown its newly adopted premises within two years. This prompted a move into a newly constructed building, not far from Meinberg's present-day location. By 1987, the clock business had eclipsed the company's original mission, prompting Günther and Werner to sell off the aircraft remote control technology to a British company. And that's when the foundations were also being laid for what would become part of Meinberg's identity to this day, a site that we at Meinberg affectionately now call the Alte Firma, the old company, which today is used for much of our extensive product testing. That's all for now, but join us soon for part two when we'll discuss the origins of our company's GPS era.